The space that you see around here is an industrial workshop, innovation studio, focused on digital fabrication for the construction industry. What we're really researching here is the future of how buildings will be made, how buildings will be built. One example of a company, a startup that was in here, was doing uh, robotically reconfigurable living units to increase the utilization of space in dense urban environments and basically doubled the utility of a, of, a, of a small apartment. That startup is now working with developers all over the U.S. in large cities to incorporate that system in some of the residential units that those developers are working on. teams from colleges and universities. And then we have architecture, engineering, and construction companies who bring in teams to do uh, work that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do back in their offices. So they were experimenting with um, winding carbon fiber around uh, structural joints as a way of reinforcing structure. There was another team that was making volumes over a kind of a, a template volumes of carbon fiber woven that they would then cure to create a shell and then the template would collapse from inside and could be removed so you'd end up with these these beautiful carbon fiber shell-like structures. There was another team, uh, a researcher from uh, Barcelona, who was doing uh, free-form carbon fiber braiding. So had a, made a braiding machine, the carbon fiber was on the end of a robot, would braid the carbon fiber and cure it as it came out. So it was almost as though it was being extruded and he could do these beautiful freeform shapes and these carbon fiber tubes that he would create. Uh, and then we've had a, a, a number of teams that are interested in printing, 3D printing with carbon fiber. So we're thinking maybe carbon fiber is a material that we should think about how our design tools can address that in the future. When a team uh, is accepted for a residency in the space, they're badged for 24-7 access. We have conventional machine tools, like we have a water jet that will cut anything. We have a large five-axis CNC mill that will take a five foot by 10 foot piece of material up to three feet high, so a large addressable volume. All of those activities combined serves as kind of a, kind of a crystal ball for us that allows us to better understand what the future of the building industry will be like, and therefore what kind of tools we need to build to support that future.